Hi everyone, welcome to today's glute and outer hip stability series. We are going to start class right away, coming into a kneeling position on hands and knees. Knees are hip width distance apart, and we're going to begin to create some small circles. Rolling the hips out in one direction, bringing the shoulders over the wrists, making this as small or as large of a movement as you like and finding movement in the opposite direction. Once or twice. From here we'll set up in tabletop position, flipping the grip of our hands, fingertips face towards the knees, palms face skywards. Shift your weight forwards and back as we stretch the front of the forearms. Flip the grip again, wrists facing towards one another, fingertips facing towards the edge of the mat, swaying to the side. Coming back into tabletop and we'll lower down onto our forearms. Pressing down through the lateral edges of the arms, grounding down through the fingertips, extending that right leg back. On our inhale, we're going to float the leg up and lower it down with control. Small movements. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Just like this. Being mindful to keep the hip points squared to the surface beneath you. That right leg, the leg that's extended, is engaged. We're activating the glutes, the quads, the hamstrings, the calf, the ankles, the toes, finding length. And we want this to be a safe practice, so be intentional with that core. Draw the navel towards the spine, protecting the lower back. Once more. And from here, we'll keep our leg up and pulse. Small lifts, working on lifting the entire leg, keeping the leg extended, really using the gluteus maximus, the fleshy portion of the right butt cheek to get that power to lift you up. We'll stay up and hold. Checking in with that left leg, your stabilizing leg. If you notice your hips swaying towards the left, simply guide yourself to the midline, maybe grounding down a little more through that right elbow, forearm and hand. One more breath here. And then we're going to flex the knee, drawing the heel towards the glute and re-extend the leg. Simple movement. Flex, extend. Flex, extend. Just like that, we're working on keeping the right knee in line with hip height. And again, checking in with that tripod foundation. Are you evenly distributing your weight across your body? Feeling a sense of mindfulness, mind, body, breath integration. You've got this, we're not here for long. Relaxing the muscles of the face. And coming down, keeping the knee flexed and lifting it right back up. Coming into tiger curl, lifts, lower and lift. Drawing that right knee towards the midline and lifting it right back up. Squeezing that glute at the top. Lifting that leg as high as you can without compromising your form. Breathe through it, you've got this. Stay mindful, stay intentional. This is such a wonderful exercise to strengthen and stabilize our pelvic muscles, our core, our posterior chain. Everything is working together. We'll stay up and hold. Small pulses, lifting that glute, that knee a little bit higher, keeping that right foot flexed. Last five, four, three, two, one. Yes, you've done it. Begin to lower that leg down, pivoting towards the right, extending that right leg out. We're going to lift and lower, being mindful to keep both hips stacked, using that right arm for support, keeping that core engaged. How high can you lift that right leg? We're working the gluteus medius here, the abductors, lift and lower, lift and lower, ever so slightly tapping that right toe down and lifting the leg right back up, lower with control, lift with control, we have got this, stay up and pulse, pulse, small movements, can you lift that leg a little bit higher, can you extend that leg a little more, find length through the toes, through the ankle, the heel, 
we are not here for long last three two one and gently lower coming back to tabletop on the forearms and we'll go on the other side extending that left leg out inhale float the leg up and lower lift lower lift lower lift lower just like this squeezing that left gluteus maximus at the top lowering the leg down with control finding length all the way from the toes of the left foot through the crown of the head if you notice those shoulders creeping up towards your ears seeing if you can roll them back a little relax the neck use those forearms those hands to help you lift up and out of the shoulder girdle squaring the hips to the mat will stay up and pulse lifting that leg as high as you can keeping the core engaged you've got this Small movements, yet very powerful. Stay up and hold, keeping that leg lifted. Lift it a little bit higher. Breathe through the tension. Let go of the tension, find your edge and work through it. We have got this, one more breath and flexing the heel, drawing it towards the glute, extending the leg. Flex, extend, flex, extend bend and straighten just like this be mindful to keep that left knee in line with hip height keeping those hips squared finding that activation we are working together here we have got this taking a moment to check in with your stabilizing leg your right leg you might be feeling it a little more in this one just after we've worked those glutes and the outer hips guiding yourself towards the midline and we'll come into the tiger curls lowering the knee to the midline and lift keeping that foot flexed lower and lift lower and lift if at any stage you need to change the pace take a break by all means listen to your body but if you feel like you can keep going we have almost got this we are here squeezing at the top lowering with control maintaining stability breathe last few keep going relax the muscles of the face and stay up and pulse small lifts how high can you lift that leg squeeze that glute you have got this keep that leg engaged not here for long last five four three two one and lower Pivoting towards the left, extending that left leg, stacking the hips, lifting that left leg and lowering with control. Tapping the big toe down for a moment and lifting right back up. Using the left fingertips for support as we ground down through that right forearm. Being mindful to lift up and out of that shoulder. Use the fingertips and the elbow for support. Engage that core. This is our last little bit of work. We have got this. Stay strong, stay focused, stay mindful. Stay up and pulse, lifting that leg a little higher. Yes, you can do this. Extending the leg, finding length, finding that activation, recognizing that you can do anything. And release. Sink those hips back, widen the knees if you like, lower the forehead onto the mat as we come into child's pose. Reconnecting with the breath, letting go. From here we'll work our way up into a seated position as we come into a double pigeon or fire log pose. We're going to start with our right leg on top. So coming into a cross-legged position, although the right shin will be parallel on top of the left shin, both feet are flexed, either staying upright or you might like to hinge from the hips and work your way down towards the mat. If you have a block or a pillow, this can be a wonderful restorative posture to let go of the tension from those accessory muscles and focus on breathing into those outer hips, the glutes, letting go of all of that energy that we've just transferred into that region of the body. Surrendering to this moment.
one more breath beginning to work your way to a seated position you might like to fan the legs out once or twice and we'll get set up for double pigeon or fire log pose on the other side this time the left shin is on top of the right inhale extend the arms overhead exhale fold be mindful to keep both feet flexed so that we're protecting the knee joints and ensuring that the sits bones remain in contact with the surface beneath you relax the belly Relax the face, the neck, breathe. And beginning to release from the posture, coming to an upright seated position. We'll join the hands together at third eye center, acknowledging your efforts for today. Well done on taking the time to commit to your mind, body and soul. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.